Hey everyone, it's Mallory here with All About Cats, and in this week's video, I'm going to be handing things over to Albert and his cat Mia of Outdoor Bengal, and they're going to be teaching you how to walk your cat on a leash. I can't think of many people more qualified to do this. If you have any interest in walking your cat, you've probably run across Albert and Mia's videos on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. They share a lot of cool, inspiring videos of their adventures sailing, hiking, and just exploring the outdoors together, and I think they're an inspiration or could be an inspiration to anyone who has an interest in helping their cat lead a more adventurous lifestyle. So um, again, I'm very grateful to Albert for working with us on this video and of course I will put links to his YouTube channel and social media in the description as well as in the cards. I also want to mention that Albert recently launched his own cat harness, uh, which I will be trying out and reviewing in the very very near future, and if you want to check that out as well, um, I'll put a link in the description too. So, with that said, I'll hand things over to Albert. Thank you for the warm introduction, Mayuri. Burning Mia's energy by walking her on a leash and helping her unleash her raw potential, it's my favorite way to enriching Mia's life. I'm very happy to share with the All About Cats community how to safely walk your cat on a leash. Come on. Good girl. I'm Albert, and she is Mia. We travel the world and help other cat parents do more and better with their cats. If your cat loves gazing through the window and has a lot of energy, this video is for you. A few years back, I decided to share my life with my cat Mia. She is very high energy and playing with her was not enough to get her tired. And since I was very little, I've always wondered how is that dogs get to go outside on a leash and cats don't. I needed to check if Mia would be happy going outdoors like most dogs do. Despite walking a cat on a leash, it's not like walking a dog, the results were amazing. Cats that are properly socialized and leash trained really thrive outdoors and it allows you to take them places that you never thought possible. Some of the things that made me want to continue walking my cat on a leash are seeing her thrive and unleash her raw self, being able to drain her energy and the bonding time that comes after going out. When cats are outdoors, they need to activate their hunting instincts as well as their surviving instincts and you're going to see their curiosity explode. These instincts will get them exploring every little hole as well as climb every tree that offers a vantage point. All these activities will get them tired and when cats are tired they seek comfort and protection on their gardens, becoming very cuddly. There are four important steps that you need to take if you want to walk your cat on a leash. Picking the right harness, desensitizing the harness presence, putting the harness on, and finally getting your cat walking on a leash. There's hundreds of harnesses out there and not all of them are great, but there's definitely a harness for every cat. All About Cats has a great video comparing cat harnesses. Probably we can link it here and you can check it out later. Once you've decided what harness do you want for your cat, Getting the right size is crucial. To pick up a harness, it's going to make it very easy for your cat to escape. And in the other side, if you get a harness that's too small, your cat is probably going to be extremely uncomfortable and just flop instead of walking. That's what you're trying to do. And it can be inconvenient to go and measure your cat, but my recommendation is go to the manufacturer's manual and see what the sizing charts look like and measure your cat before buying. Once you've got the harness in your home, you can check if the harness is the right size by placing two fingers between the harness and the cat. If you cannot place two fingers between the harness and the cat, it's probably too small. If you can fit more than two, three fingers, it's probably a little too big. Desensitizing the harness presence. Whenever you buy something for your cat, unless it's candid, it's going to take a while for your cat to get used to the smell of that object, that toy. Cats use pheromones to mark objects and areas as safe. Place the harness in areas that your cat likes hanging on, so they can soak it with their pheromones. Once the harness smells a little bit more like your cat, and a little less like factories and dice, your cat is going to be more comfortable wearing it putting the harness on your cat. There's only one right way to put a harness on a cat, which is using sit and stay. I saw the flashes in the dark, colors on the wall, bright against the monochrome. I have a very simple tutorial explaining how to teach your cat to sit and stay. You can find the video here, but if you want to finish this video first, you're also going to find the link in the description box down below. There are other ways though to put a harness on a cat. If your cat doesn't know sit and stay yet and you want to start taking them out on a leash, you can use this other method instead. Secure your cat, squishing them with your elbow against your ribs, 
and then with the two hands that are still free, you can put the harness on your cat. Leave the harness on for a bit. You can let your cat roam around the house only wearing the harness without attaching the leash yet. The leash at the beginning is just going to make it more uncomfortable and making them feel restrained. My recommendation is to use play and foot to get them run around the house and forget that they are wearing a harness. Two things can happen now. Your cat doesn't mind the harness and starts playing right away. Or your cat hates the harness and basically plops on the floor and stops moving. If your cat doesn't care, congratulations, you've got yourself a cat that is ready to walk on a leash. But if your cat minds the harness, repeat the process several times, don't push it too hard and reward generously while they are wearing the harness. Harness the power of positive reinforcement and you're going to get them used to the harness in just one or two weeks. Everything is ready to walk our cat on a leash. Once your cat is comfortable wearing the harness, attaching the leash should not be complicated. Start indoors in places where they are already comfortable and get them used to just following your instructions on a leash. Once they're comfortable inside, you can move outside to the outdoors. Try to choose a place that doesn't have cars or noises or dogs because every experience that's a positive experience is going to make your cat want to repeat. Some cats will embrace outdoors right away and some cats won't. Habituation happens when experience beats expectations. If your cat doesn't like something, but slowly and consistently they are faced with that event and the outcome is positive, your cat is going to likely diminish the fear they have towards that event. However, the line between advancing and creating trauma it's very fine and you want to always stay in the positive side. If your cat has a bad experience, weeks of progress can be lost. So keep sessions short and sweet. There are mistakes that I see over and over when people are walking their cats on a leash that could make the cat fearful or even try to escape. The best way to avoid making those mistakes is by watching this video next. Until then, stay wild, stay safe. I'll see you outdoors.